Japanese engineers are still battling to cool the tsunami-damaged nuclear reactors at the Fukushima plant. Overnight, they continued to spray seawater, and they've now succeeded in connecting a power cable to reactor number two, although power yet has to be switched on. Before this can be done, nearly a mile of cable will have to be laid. The aim is to restart cooling pumps at all the plant's reactors this weekend. In the meantime, the authorities are monitoring the effects of the nuclear leak. We have received reports that radiation levels above the levels acceptable by the food safety laws have been detected in milk samples from the Fukushima area and in spinach from the Ibaraki area. The UN Atomic Watchdog has said that radiation levels in Tokyo are not harmful. And in California, the authorities have said that they have detected a minuscule rise in radiation levels as a result of the spill. Experts say dangerous radiation levels are unlikely to spread to other nations.